Hey guys, um, it's me, Ava, obviously. But you can't blame me for trying. You know I'll be lying, saying you're the one. Ooh, that could finally fix me. Looking at my history, I'm bad in love. Got a girl with California eyes. I'm currently breaking out really bad, but it's currently storming outside too. So sorry, the lighting's like really kind of like off and bad so if you guys have me on snapchat if you don't you guys should follow me on snapchat um i love when you guys watch my story or just like try to like t talk to me on snapchat because i do have an open snapchat so everybody can reply to my story or whatever so um my snapchat will be right here but it is always down in the description box and so is my instagram and twitter oh update on my relationship because that's what a lot of you guys have been asking sorry i haven't like told you guys but like i broke up with that guy because it was just like a terrible relationship like i loved him so so much like i loved him like with all my heart but he just didn't get that and he was going around telling people that he broke up with me because he didn't feel loved okay but i broke up with him okay first of all can we take that okay i broke up with him and which doesn't matter but because he just started ignoring me and then he's like he's just really dumb uh he has a lot of problems i mean everyone has problems but this kid has like a lot of problems like I'm not gonna expose all of his problems because I'm not that kind of person. Let's just say I never thought I would date this kind of kid, but I dated him in eighth grade, so I was like, okay, well, I know what he's like, so I thought I knew what he's like because I broke up with him in eighth grade and now I broke up with him again. And obviously I was really sad because I really did love this kid, but he just thought I didn't love him, so that's why he started ignoring me because that's what he was telling everybody like all his little crackhead friends or whatever that he like didn't feel loved or whatever which is the biggest lie I've ever heard because literally not that when you buy somebody something and shows you love them one I would always show that I loved him because I would always give him my time of day I would always try to text him I would try to spend as much time with this kid as I possibly could like every other day I would go to over to his house after school like all this other stuff I would go to his house and we'd hang out and talk and stuff and then I bought him Christmas presents because like he doesn't have Christmas like with his mom because like they just don't have Christmas not because they don't celebrate or anything they just don't they didn't have Christmas this year I guess or something mom's really nice to me like I love his mom Okay, so he started ignoring me on the 25th, so like Christmas Day. I gave him his Christmas presents on the 22nd or the 23rd, so, and then like he doesn't have a phone anymore because he lost it, so I was like, okay, just text me on your, call me Christmas morning. He's like, I promise, and then we did this thing, like, we used to do this thing, whatever. Um, but yeah, he broke that promise because he never called me, and then he just started ignoring me, and he was like, I hate my life, blah, blah, blah. Like, this kid was annoying. But, like, I loved him, so I guess I just didn't care that he was, like, putting me through that kind of situation where he's like, I want to kill myself, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, kind of exposing him right now, but whatever, because he's a dick, so, yeah. Um, and I've never been in a real relationship, especially with this kid, because he, well, especially in general, because this kid had so many problems like 120 million problems this kid had so i and i knew our relationship like wasn't normal because like he didn't have regular people problems like regular people problems for our age is like oh my god my mom didn't give me 20 dollars to go to the mall or oh my god my mom like took away my phone his problems were like way up here and it's like they were his fault you know what i mean like it's not just like problems that somebody else created for him like he created his problems and like they were really big problems so it's like so but like me being in love i like was like oh well i'll just help him like i'm so dumb i'm such a dumb hoe anyways i'm not a hoe by the way just saying and one of the reasons i feel like he broke up with me which i may be wrong is because like he didn't get to hit it or whatever because like in his other two relationships like they lasted a while, like a year, I think, over a year. 
And it's because like he was having sex with them and I didn't let him have sex with me because TMI, but because like I am 15 and I'm almost 16 in two months or three months. So it's like, I knew I wasn't ready. I knew I didn't want to do that because I'm really, really young. Um, yeah, I just like wasn't ready for that kind of relationship. And maybe that's why he broke up with me. Wow, I look crazy. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. The reason he said was because he didn't feel loved. So maybe that's why he didn't feel loved. I don't know. But if that's the reason he broke up with me, which I don't know because he's still ignoring me, kind of, like... I, screened, I screenshotted something from our chats on Snapchat last night, and then he went in the chat, but then he, like, never replied or said anything, so I don't know, but I'm trying not to care, but I care because this kid, like, I loved him, and he was a part of my life for so long, like, we started, we dated in eighth grade, and then we we stopped dating, we stopped talking, and then he came back into my life. And then he just became MIA on me. Like, okay, sure, I guess, like, that works. But it's like, I don't know if you guys have ever loved someone so much and then they just go MIA on you and, like, never talk to you again. But it's, like, the worst feeling in the whole world because it's, like, Like, I never got closure, I guess. Like, I never got to find out the real reason, like, why he broke up with me. Which, I feel like he owes me that because of how much I loved him and how much I tried in our relationship. So, for him to go around being like, oh, I didn't feel loved is, like, bullshit. So, okay. Sure, you didn't feel loved. Okay. But, I honestly hope he sees this video because fuck him if he thinks that he can just like get away with that shit like no sweetie boo boo sorry okay i'm baking right now come to the conclusion that me and him were too whoa i look crazy come to the conclusion that me and this dude were two completely different people like two completely different people we came from two complete well not two completely different worlds i want to say but we came from like different worlds like we grew up sort of similar but like sort of not similar at the same time it's just like we're too t we grew up we faced some of the same problems growing up but we became two totally different people it's because he let the, his problems get in the way of him and i kind of have just like i let my problems get in the way of me sometimes but it's like i know when to fix it so and i know when to stop and I turn to, like, Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, like, I don't turn to, like, bad things like marijuana or other narcotics or drugs or whatever. Like, I turn to family, I guess, which this kid didn't have. He only had his mom because all this other personal stuff. Let me not tell his life story. Get sued, but whatever. Um, but, yeah, like... So, main story, basically, I was crying over this kid, like, for a week, and I'm obviously still sad, like, I'm just trying not to cry anymore because I'm not trying to waste my time on him right now because I'm trying to focus on myself and make me a better me, I guess. I don't really know, to be honest, because, you know, I have problems too. Everybody has problems. Um, I'm obviously not going to share my problems online <laughs> because I want to... Everyone shows their best self online and it's like this kid like my ex literally didn't try to show his best self like he would be like telling everybody his problems because he wanted attention like let's be real people do that because they want attention so and I gave him all of my attention like 24 7 I would text him when he had his phone but then like he lost his phone or someone stole it or whatever so then I couldn't text him anymore but it's like I would still come over as much as I could. So it's like I was giving him my 24-7 full attention or like as much as I tried to. And he just didn't care. It's like he was still focused on his problems. And then he cheated on me three times with the same chick, his ex. He cheated on me with his ex who's, mm, I'm not trying to talk shit or down on her, but girl, no. Okay, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah let's just say like I don't think I'm better than anybody like everybody is their own self and people are better than other people but 
I don't like to put myself above other people, but I'm better than her. Let's just say that, okay? I don't really care if she sees this and she hears me saying that. But, sorry, I'm better than you, okay? Let's just throw that out there. Um, I'm better than her and he just doesn't care because they're kind of like the same person that are they're terrible people so they attract each other and i'm not a terrible person and i don't do what they do that is illegal first of all i don't do what they do so like i don't know maybe that's why he cheated on me maybe he just he, well he didn't really care i don't fucking know and i don't honestly fucking care right now because i'm kind of getting heated about it again but um yeah that's kind of just what's been happening um yeah so i still haven't heard from this kid since the i mean he's texted me like one word on monday today's friday he texted me like a couple words like a sentence that was like shitty not to me it was shitty about himself so i don't know what he expected me to say like what the fuck we i already broke up with you on monday sorry so yeah so that's what's been going on in my relationship which is crazy like and of course like i still love this kid and i don't know why like i want to hate him and i want to just push him away and like get rid of him but i can't do that like i don't know why either it's just like I don't know why I love this kid so much and it's like even though he hurt me and cheated on me and did all this bullshit to me I still love him and I don't know why because when I was growing up I learned cheating was wrong if man ever cheats on you like you need to leave him like just stop and leave like that's wrong like and I, I knew that so the first time he cheated on me I found out about it because he had hickeys all over his neck and I took him back because I'm a dumb bitch um yes then i took him back because you know i loved this kid so much and i was like okay i'll give him another chance and then he cheated me cheated on me on new year's and before that again so then i found out and i was like okay i'm done like i can't do this anymore if i'm just gonna keep crying but then taking you back but then you ignore me again while you're cheating on me again and then i take you back and it's just gonna be a cycle that keeps going and then you're gonna blame it on me like no no sweetie no 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 that's not how it works okay like no so yeah you know that was great um i've never been cheated on before so that was like my first time um i don't know if he had sex with this girl i don't know if he it was just kissing on her that's really all i have proof of because somebody sent me the videos of it um so you know i i can't say how he cheated on me i just know that he just was like kissing on some other girl but Yeah, you know, getting cheated on sucks because, you know, him ignoring me and making up stories is one thing. But when they ignore you, make up stories, and then cheat on you and make it sound like when you broke up it was your fault. I think that's what makes this worse for me is because he did cheat on me and he never said sorry. Like, I confronted him about it in person and then he was like, oh, I'll never do it again. But it's not like he was fighting for me. It's like he was just like... He didn't really care. And it's because he was dep he was depressed, uh, which, you know, I think he actually was, but I don't know anymore. Like, I'm just honestly over this bullshit. Um, I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to move out of this small ass town because fucking everyone in this town is literally a crackhead or their parents are crackheads. Like, and I'm just trying to leave because... <laughs> bitch i ain't no crackhead so i gotta go you know what i mean like i'm trying to skirt out of this town because i'm not the one okay so yeah honestly i'm just gonna put on highlighter and that's it but i just wanted to update you guys about my relationship and all this other shit but i don't really have time to talk to you about this other shit but i will do another get ready with me so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and support me so yeah, and all my socials are linked in the description. And if you blow up my Instagram and comment on my pictures or and follow me, I'll follow you back. Uh, duh. So, 
yeah i love you guys to the moon and back and i'll see you guys in my next video bye my avocados Mwah.